going guys in this video I'm going to review uh, Google Drive uh, this is just going to be a short concise review so let's dig in first of all Google Drive is a cloud storage system like Dropbox minus Box SkyDrive and it offers, it offers um, some extra functionalities one of them my favorite is the uploading of revisions so if I select this file and uh, if I say more then uh, I can manage the revisions by clicking here and it shows me how many revisions of this particular file have been uploaded I can upload a new revision or I can change to a previous revision if I if I believe the new revision is not up to the mark uh, another thing is its desktop application which comes with the drive you can download it for free uh, you can uh, pause the sync uh, well by default the sync is on like all the time but you can pause the synchronization to save data maybe or you know something like that it gets paused automatically when you're off the internet when you don't have Wi-Fi connection or if you have unplugged the Ethernet cable or if you have unplugged your uh, dongle then uh, well yeah you can open the Google Drive folder this looks just like the internet ex uh, so, uh, sorry this looks exactly like the uh, Windows Explorer thing is just like a normal folder you can just drag and drop files in here you can create new folders so I'm just gonna create a new test folder here test files and um, and as you see this particular folder is being synchronized up, uh, online and then I can open this particular folder and then I can say and I can just create a new one uh, a new folder uh, something called uh, JJJ maybe and uh, if you see here this says that the test files has a subfolder here so that's quite neat I can create a new text document just in here like a like any normal folder and I can just call it new text document and uh, it's uh, being synchronized it's being uploaded online and it, within minutes this is gonna get you know like uploaded I'm not sure why it's taking too long but uh, well we should, we should um, you know do it pretty quickly um, till then, as you're gonna see the test files folder, you see uh, there is a subfolder called JJJ, and it's been last modified right now for 19 p.m. Uh, it's taking a bit too long for this file to sync, but I'm just gonna add some test data: test one, test two. I'm just gonna save it back, and I'm just gonna close this file, and uh, hopefully it's gonna get synchronized in a moment. By default, Google Drive comes with five gigs of storage, which is for free. However, you can still upload, you can still buy more storage, and uh, the, uh, the and these are the plans for buying more storage. For 25 gigs, you pay 2.49 a month, and you get plus 25 gigs for a Drive and Picasa. I really don't see a point of having this bonus here because uh, my Gmail storage never exceeds more than two percent. And I've got literally ten thousand, uh, more than ten thousand of the emails, and I, I really don't see any point of having this extra twenty-five gigs of storage. Uh, if you want, if you want more, then you can upgrade two hundred gigs of storage, which is for four ninety-nine a month. Uh, so again, there's no point of seeing this bonus because I really don't see a point. Um, I'm not quite sure how much data can you upload at once for each file, but I would assume that it's around two gigs. Because minus box, they both allow uh, two gigs per file. Well, except SkyDrive, which has like 100 MB or something like that. But well, who cares? Because um, anyway, you're not gonna upload movies, are you? So, well, yeah. Uh, if you still need more storage, uh, Google can provide you up to 16 terabytes of storage, which is available once you upgrade the account. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the test files, and let's see some of the features here. You can open this file, well, as you all know, it can open the file, you know. But the thing is, you can edit the file as well. It's quite, you know, it's quite, you know, embarrassing to have this kind of stupid thing here, but, well, yeah. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, open the preview pane. That's the preview pane that, that uh, this shows all the information about your document. You can enable sharing. You can share it with people like for now this file is private only the people listed below can access it which is me as the owner I can change this permission to anyone with a link so I can send the link out to the people and then they can click on the link and then they can access the file however without the link no one can access the file but well it's kind of risky because 
if the ring goes if the link goes in the wrong hands then there's a problem I can make the file public so that anyone on the internet can access the file there's no sign-in required so well that makes it available to everyone however this is a good option for you maybe for you or maybe this is a good option because you can just embed the link into your blog or something and uh, people can click on the link and then download the file so I would say do this rather than do this you know so well also you can add people that uh, you, uh, you can add particular people that you can share the files with so an email will be sent to the people that you add here and uh, they will be able to click on the link as in the email and then they can access the file so really that's the thing uh, if I have shared a file with other people then they then it would appear in the, uh, okay then it will appear in the shared with me folder and um, well uh, since these files are shared with me and since these files will not be owned by me well the ability to edit them or do anything with them will really vary upon the permissions that have been set by the owner of the file so yeah you can for your favorite documents I mean if you have any well okay dismiss for the favorite documents for instance this PT report by blah 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 you can just click on the star and as you know the drill it gets into the starred thing and uh, it's in here you can create files it's uh, the drive has I mean I would say that the drive has taken the shape of documents or maybe it's an extended version of Google Docs so you can create uh, documents presentation spreadsheet you can create forms another thing to know about Google Drive is its application which uh, as I said looks just like the Windows Explorer however you can uh, set the preferences which allow you to sync specific folders to the account uh, well you can also enable offline viewing which allows you to see the recent files that have been synchronized on the computer even if the internet connection is not on uh, you can disconnect the account you can buy more storage and blah 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 so I would say that this is a really good application to be in the shared computers where people can just connect their drives to the computer and then they can just do call disconnect the drive and uh, well yeah uh, another thing as I said is the all, all of this stuff which is activity so I so I mean if you have a lot of people collaborating online it would tell you how many files have been edited recently and who was to, and, and who edited that particular file so as it says I edited this file on May 2 and blah 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 so yeah uh, well you can uh, as as you know you can just move the files to trash and stuff like that but well, I wouldn't do it because I've got five gigs and I'm only using one percent of the storage so yeah so well and uh, as I said this is taking shape over the documents uh, Google Docs so you can make documents presentations spreadsheet forms drawing and uh, you can make uh, a table which is in beta and you can get more apps the good thing about the apps is that you can just keep on adding apps to the drive and then you can make use of them so if I if I show you my apps I've got the Lucy chart diagramming app and that's why I have uh, in the more section the Lucy chart diagram uh, so well we would use the web app to do the stuff and then it would move that particular diagram to my drive and uh, well yeah I can create new I mean I can just add any app that I want I can add the graphing calculator and uh, well well yeah and uh, then hopefully I will get it in my drive so in the create uh, uh, nope so I think there are specific apps which are controlled by the Google Drive so uh, well hopefully they would improve this later on and enable the drive sharing for all apps which are you know like like is a uh, for instance if I have created a graph and if I want to save the graph then uh, what well, that has to be of a problem isn't it uh, okay now I think I'll be able to access it create more there we go Google graphing calculator by desmos.com so I can create a new graph and uh, I can allow the access well, yeah of course and then I can create a graph I can just say I don't know I don't, I don't know how to use this but I'm, I would rather assume that it has x squared there so that's the graph of the x squared which is fantastically correct and hopefully 
Yeah. So, uh, okay, how do I save this? Well, I guess it's it gets saved. Uh, I have no idea how to save this. This is a shame, really. Okay, save and share. Wow. How did I not see that? I would just say graph title test graph. And uh, the world, no. Uh, anyone I share with the link? Oh, uh, well, okay. And it gets saved now to the Google Drive. In the drive, uh, there's my test graph that has been saved. I can drag it to a folder by just clicking on it and dragging and dropping it to that particular folder. So that's it for this uh, video review of the Google Drive. I, I say this is a good thing um, because I like Google Drive, but the storage space is very, very limited. It says 5 gigs, and I would rather go for the Sky Drive, which gives me 25 gigs, or I'd go for the box, which gives me 50 gigs. And the reason I have 50 gigs for the box is that I downloaded the box app on the day when it was advertised that if you download the app, you would get the 50 gigs. So I just got the app quickly and I got the 50 gigs. So, uh, well, that's it uh, for this review. I'll see you guys later. Till then, bye bye.